Samurais and ninjas were still walking around in Japan. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Manok once again and this is Manok Presents Sailor Stories where I talk about stories when I was in the Navy. This is episode 5. Culture Shock! Like I've told you guys before, I was stationed in Japan for a long time. And culture shock was one of the biggest issues I had when I got to Japan. One of the first things that will catch you off guard is when you walk into a Japanese bathroom and the toilets are different. Yes, the toilets are different. I walked in there, I'm like, um, the hell? I need to take a shit. How the hell do you do that on this? I'll put a link in the description so you see what I'm talking about. So the first time that happened, I was like, what the hell? Everywhere you're walking around, they give you tissues. And I was like wondering, why they give you tissues all the time? And I never took them. So at that moment, I'm like, there's no toilet paper. What the hell? And what am I do gonna do here? And then I understood. That's the reason why you, when you're walking around, they give you tissue. And that's the reason why there's no toilet papers in the bathroom. But some places have uh, Western bathrooms where it's just like the United States. But like, if you don't really search this up, you won't know what the hell. Because when I went over there, I didn't really search up nothing. I thought samurais and ninjas were still walking around in Japan. Where it's not like that. Another thing that was shocking is I'm like 6'2". And they average from like 4'8 to 5'8". And that's their average height. So I'm walking over there and everybody's like, you already know you're calling attention if you don't behave well you can't blend in with the crowd if you know what i'm saying they'll catch you fast it's that guy that's like six two he was the one that did it not that we were doing anything wrong i'm just saying also another thing that catches you by surprise is that in japan they don't accept tips i don't know if it's they add it with your receipt or i don't know how it works but they don't accept tips it was shocking that one day we were finishing our meal and we left to tip, but we didn't know that you couldn't tip. So the person from the restaurant comes out and she's speaking Japanese. I don't know what she's saying. She's running towards us. We're like, what the hell? What just happened? So we book it. We're like, oh, just running away. And she's like, ah, ah, ah. we're like, oh, what the fuck? Just run. So we're like trying to run away. We don't know. She's yelling. Um, she says money. And we're like, we paid everything. What the hell? Just run. So we were running for like 10, 15 minutes. And she catches up to us. And she's like, your change. We're like, all this running for nothing? It's a tip. And then she was saying, no, no. And she gave it to us. We're like, oh, they don't accept tips. So that's how we learned that they don't tip in Japan. It was uh, weird that they chased us to give us back our money. Normally people don't do that. They're like, tip? Hell yeah, give me that shit. Another thing that a lot of people probably know is that they use um, chopsticks for almost every meal. Noodles, rice, um, sushi. They use chopsticks as uh, forks and spoon in Japan and they cut things with the chopsticks and it's weird to try to cut something with the chopsticks but they're like experts they're like mm -hmm. and they cut that shit like nothing but then you're trying to use it and you're like uh, 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 uh. yeah it looks exactly like that when you're trying to get stuff with the chopsticks and you can't another thing that you don't really see in the states or anywhere else where I visited is that in Japan they run a lot they're always on the move and if they're like moving from here to the store they'll run to the store and come back to the place running or if they're trying to get an item that you give them like you tell them oh where is this item or where can I find this item then he'll run the person will run to that place and come back with the item they're always like moving really fast a rush hour is one of the things that will shock you the most like it's so much people that they push the people inside the train they have like people with batons and you're in the train and if you don't fit they'll push you they'll push you they'll push you until the doors closed and then everybody's clapping 
it's crazy it's a lot of the things that you experience over there that's part of the shocking things that made me go like damn and that's basically what they call culture shock because it's not done as it is in the states so it will shock you and it it's different to you so you don't understand why they do that and then later on as you experience more of the culture you learn a lot more things so that's basically it for this episode of Manok Presents Sailor Stories Culture Shock! Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys around